Well, here's the current status of the home site. Five straight days of rain. I don't know if you can see over there. I guess I'll... It's been unfortunate. Fortunate timing. Um, just see how much water there. I mean, I don't know if you can even get a sense of how large that is, but I mean, that's that's over three feet wide, as far as what's been eaten out. But anyways, the actual pad's doing okay, but. Um, it broke through that little area and is just draining out constantly. Just all that surface area up there and then a little bit more water coming from the wood line down in there. And <sighs> So that's one thing that's going on. And then the other thing is all a lot more water through here. I don't know if you can see it all, but... Obviously, it's it's creeping onto the road. It instead of it going here, it needs to be over here. This area of road needed to get widened out, anyways. Um, none of this was completely finished, but um, as you can see through here, it just gets a lot worse, and so. It's just so much water. Um, just a ton of water. And let's, let's actually get back there because that rain ditch is a roaring river right now. Holy crap. I've never seen it like that. Actually, check that out. See, there's just so much. <sighs> and so, wow, this is a disaster. Holy crap. What the heck? Whoa. Just, I don't know if you can see, but that's the ditch back there and it's come all the way out to basically right there. I don't know if I can walk on this. Wow. So the rain ditch is literally all the way out to here in my front yard. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's just how much rain we've got in the last five days. Just a disaster. Wow. I mean, just look at all of this. I can even get over there, but I mean, it's just huge amounts of water. I mean, like, what the heck? This is just insane. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. I can even get over there. 
depth. It looks like the stream is just roaring through the supposed yard over here. Yeah, look at this. Holy crap. What? What? What in the world? What in the world? Like this is supposed to be a yard. And we've got, what's I mean like, this is like three and a half, four. I mean, it's almost up my six inch boots here. That's at its deepest, it's like five and a half inches. Just roaring river. What? Just a disaster. Don't even know if I can get close enough to figure out what's going on here. I don't get it. Wow. That's just a big stump there. I wonder if that's something one of my guys did. So like this is supposed to be the rain ditch. But we got another river over here. And I don't, I don't have time to be hiking right now. But this is just too important. I gotta figure out where this is coming in. Holy smokes. This is just, wow, look at it all coming from over there. I don't even know if you can see. It's everywhere. There's gotta be some issue at the road. Wow, what a catastrophe. What a catastrophe. I mean, I'm not sure how this is fixable. I really don't know. Just a catastrophe is all it is. I mean, the good news is it's not gonna affect the house, but the yard. I mean, there's got to be some way to divert it, but then, okay, where do I divert it? I divert it into the rain ditch. That's on my property line. I can do that, but the rain ditch is overloaded. Wow. And just for the information, that rain ditch dries out and there's nothing in it when it's not heavy rain. So if I were to make that drain ditch bigger, longer, or bigger and wider and deeper, 
it's literally only going to be used in extremely heavy rains like this. I mean, what in the world? There's something else going on, I think, over on 6 and 20. This doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense to me. So obviously this is a bad part of my road for obvious reason. And it's just pouring over. Oh my goodness. I mean, I will say that this has literally been five straight days of rain. No real breaks. That's got about 40, 50% capacity left. I need a ditch on this side, obviously. This is just insane though. Wow. Probably need to shape this a little bit to catch it and organize it down the hillside there. Just insane. And then up here it looks okay. Just need a high side ditch down to that other culvert. Oh man, what a disaster. We had hurricanes come through, but we didn't have this much rain even for the hurricanes. This culvert's got a lot more capacity. That's good, but that's not necessarily what my problem is. I, uh, this whole time I thought my problem was over just right here. I didn't know about way over there in the rain ditch getting so high and one of my visions with this property was to have a pond a, a pretty big pond right here because I knew that area was kind of lower so I mean now I'm thinking I almost have to have the pond just to angle water into it and control it out down the other side of my property. It's just awful. I mean, if you're watching this, please tell me what you would recommend. You know, I mean, that's that's where I was, that's the corner of my property, right, right at that tree line. I can't go further into the woods without permission and clean up the rain ditch or make it wider up there. I mean, I could ask permission and try, but um, from there, I mean, all the way out to here is just level with the rain ditch. I mean, it's just that much volume of water moving through there. And so if I were to elevate all of this to just keep force it down that way, that's just a ton of dirt. That's just an insane amount of dirt to bring in with no guarantee it's going to be able to withstand that top corner over time. Wow. This is not good. Let me know your thoughts.